Inside a house of horrors, thousands of knives, fake body parts, and human waste. At the heart of it all, a Brooksville woman accused of trying to kill a cop with a sword. News Channel 8's Melanie Michael is live for us in Brooksville. And Mel, you just can't make this stuff up. It's incredible. You certainly can't, Stacy. Good evening to you. My goodness, one of the weirdest crime scenes we've ever been to. Inside this home, 3,500 knives and the stuff that nightmares are made of. Look at all these knives. It's like a scene out of a horror movie. More than 3,000 of them amidst the deranged and demented decor, including bizarre body parts, fake and plastic, everywhere inside. And if that wasn't enough, check this out. An altar lined with hatchets and skulls, along with human waste, creating a rancid, rotten stench. We always thought something was wrong over there, but we never could, we can't, couldn't figure it out. Neighbors tell us there's no doubt Nicole Dykema was mentally ill. They told us she would chop off her hair with a machete, shave her skull, and then terrorize the neighborhood. And it's all caught on camera. Watch this surveillance video. She walks next door and slices open the window screen. And the bad behavior doesn't stop there. Look at this. She's also seen cutting the cables on an air conditioning unit. It's driven elderly neighbors to tears. I would just like to get her in a home somewhere that will take care of her. I don't want her hurt. Nicole Dykema's dangerous deeds came to an end Tuesday night during a standoff when deputies tried to serve a warrant for her arrest. But she wasn't going quietly. In fact, they claimed that they told her to drop her knives numerous times. And at one point, she was inches away from slicing a deputy's head open with her sword. Oh, I was petrified. Petrified. When, you know, you're... In the end, deputies tased this 47-year-old woman. She's behind bars tonight on a number of charges, including assault on a law enforcement officer. So, Stacy, you were right on the money when you said you can't make this stuff up. Bizarre. Boy. Yeah, really, Mel. And the neighbors have to be extremely upset and scared by the whole thing. Very much so. They have lodged numerous complaints. They say it's fallen on deaf ears, but they're hoping maybe with this incident that something will now be done. Yeah, Wendy, new tonight, we're learning more about what was going on inside this home that would literally give some people nightmares. We're talking about thousands of knives, tons of these creepy props, including this fake severed finger in the driveway. A lot more inside, all belonging to a mentally disturbed woman. Well, we've been scared to death. If you put yourself in Dorothy Clagg's shoes, you can understand her fear. Just look at what deputies pulled out of the home next door. More than 3,700 knives, swords, machetes, and axes. Many of them hanging around or in creepy Halloween-type props. She never wanted anybody to go in her house, and now I know why. Deputies made the discovery Tuesday night when serving an arrest warrant. They say Nicole Dykma, who suffers from a mental illness, eventually lunged at an officer with a machete, missing his head by just inches. It's a miraculous uh, thing. It's by the grace of God that they, everybody went home safe last night. So the detectives just pulled out, and obviously the woman is still in jail. So for the first time, we're getting an up-close look at this house. And take a look, the entrance area covered in filth, and a lot of these Halloween decorations, props, severed limbs, and heads. But where it gets really creepy is looking inside the house. Look inside this bedroom. It literally looks like a haunted house. More fake skeletons and severed limbs. Pictures from before the knives were removed make it look even creepier. In case you were wondering, this is what 3,700 knives look like hanging inside a home. She is just something else. You never knew. Dykema's other neighbor, Ethel Burns, says the woman never got violent but was destructive. Their security cameras caught her destroying their window and air conditioning unit using, of all things, a knife. No one knew she had so many. And my husband was amazed. He said if he had known that she had that kind of arsenal in her house, we wouldn't stay here. We'd have, we'd have left. Now tonight I asked the deputy if these weapons were legal and he said yes. In fact, you can buy them at a flea market. The only problem is this woman was on probation. She wasn't allowed to own one of them, let alone 3,700. Live in Brooksville.